All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. It's the brother Malak, back with another lesson in all truth and sincerity. All right. Not really in the spirit, so forgive me. But Lord will, you know, the spirit will sup with me um, during this lesson. All right. So just wanted to go into how we constantly have to be under examination. You know, not only from other brothers, but it starts with ourselves. Okay. Uh, as the scriptures say, <clears throat> you know, we're supposed to be looking in that mirror, as it says in James, the first chapter. You know, to make sure that we're not walking hypocritically, you know, and that's part of what fucks with you being in this thing. All right. We're under constant scrutiny, uh, even from ourselves. OK, we have to be our biggest critic. All right. Some some of our weaknesses we know of. Right. Of uh, uh, ourselves. Right. Which we should. We should know our weaknesses, you know, and that can be overlooked sometimes when we are um you know focusing on our strengths too much okay but it's also important to know our strengths as well but you know what's more important is to make your weaknesses stronger so that's um what you know i'm going to get into in this lesson lord willing is edified to you akium and uh, aqua all right so i'm gonna get this sirac uh let me see set this over all right, this is uh, in the GNT, all right, as brother's been, you know, messing with heavy, all right. This is a uh, Sirach, the 18th chapter, okay, and, um, start at the 19th verse all right it says know what you are talking about before you speak and give attention to your health before you get sick all right so you know we have to be well studied before we speak on things all right whether that's through experience or whether it's from actual delving into you know certain specific you know, points of um, of topic, man. So you have to, you know, what it what it says. It says, know what you were talking about before you speak. Okay, have have a well thought plan, uh, and of what you're gonna say, and give attention to your health before you get sick. All right, it says verse twenty. Examine your conscience before the Lord, before the Lord judges you. Okay, so yeah, know what you're gonna. Uh, it said what. Uh, to give attention to your health before you get sick, right? Because by the time you're sick, right, it's too late. The same way we have to know ourselves and examine our our conscience before the Lord judges us, as is, as it just read. All right, we have to be able to discern from ourselves whether we're walking the right way or not before the Lord judges. Okay, and the Lord will give you signals and either brothers, even brothers, to help you understand that you're going off. All right, that's important. That's an important part of the ministry. All right. Now, it says, then when when that time comes, he will forgive you. So if we take he ourselves, the Lord will forgive us in due time if we happen to go off. All right. It says, then. Uh, uh, this says, humble yourself before you are punished with sickness. When you have sinned, show repentance. All right. So when we sin, show repentance. That's the important part of this thing to show repentance, right? To show that we have, um, that we are sorry, right? And how we how we are sorry, or how we show that, is by not trying to offend again. All right. So the scriptures say to offend less, right? So. 
you know, because at the same time, this is um, this walk, man. It's a straight gate, and it's an easy, it's an easy, it's easy to get off path. All right, as the scriptures say, man, it's um, you know, broad is the way, um, to destruction. All right, and we and we hope to see the. Uh, matter of fact, man, let's let's uh, get it. fact I'm gonna get it in Matthew I think that's Matthew 7 I was gonna read it in uh, 2nd Ezra's but uh, seeing how it's worded you know Alright, so it says, Matthew 7 and 13, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there which, and, and many there be which go and uh, there it. So yeah, man, it says, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few, and there, and few there be that find it. So yeah, man, this this walk is it's a narrow walk, all right. It's a small it's a small portion of people that are going to be able to make it through, all right. Certain you know, tribulations, okay, to get back up, right. So, but it takes examination, all right, to be looking looking at the mark, okay, looking at the goal, all right, which that mark is, all right. So let's read it again. This is Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go and uh, there it, and there eat and there eat. All right. And uh, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, a few there be that find it. All right. So, yes, yeah, so only. Um, many are called, few are chosen. All right, it's, uh, this is this walk isn't ultimately for everyone, right? But what it does do is it makes you examine and to look, all right, uh, at yourself because we're the ones that are actually moving, all right. The Lord, of course, yeah, He moves us and He's in control of everything, but also He wants you to look at your at your faults, all right, at your how you're um, walking as well, all right? Because you take part in the action. Okay, now this is um, verse nine. Um, we're gonna get. I'm gonna read verse First Peter, uh, five and six. All right, it says, "Humble yourselves." Therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. All right, so we have to humble ourselves in this walk so that we can be exalted, man, because that's what we're doing this thing for. It's for a way, you know, to, to receive salvation as well, to not take part in the plagues, right? But also to receive that crown, man. That's the main goal. All right, that's that's what we have an opportunity for us being called into being and, and partakers in this um this ministry, man. So I'm gonna read it again. It says First Peter chapter five verse six says, "Humble yourselves, therefore, there, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that He may exalt you in due time." Verse seven, casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking who he may devour all right so we have to walk um and be sober and be vigilant all right because 
you know, if we're uh, drunk, right, you, you, know, you look in the mirror, right, you on all kind of drugs, you're going to, the vision is going to be blurred, right? So the Lord said to be sober, right, because the adversary is around about, right, looking for who he may devour, all right? So that's just uh, important in these times, right, starting with myself, right, to, to firstly examine ourselves, okay, to make sure that we're doing what needs to be done all right so yeah with that man a hey, lord will i edify i want to give all praise honor and glory unto my heavenly father yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rahakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone shalom